Hi, my name is Rod Howell, and I'm going to walk you through the process of unzipping a zipped folder that has music files, loading those files into iTunes, burning a CD, and putting them on your iPod. So follow along, and I'll explain it all. <clears throat> Pardon me. On the desktop, you see I have two zipped folders, and you can tell they're a zipped folder because they have a little zipper on them. A zipped folder means the folder is in a zip format, and that's simply a compressed format that makes it easier to send multiple files online. The bad part of a zip format is we can't really use the files on inside until we unzip the folder or quote unquote extract the files. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. We're going to start with my no rest zip folder. That's an album. So what I'm going to do first of all is create a new folder right below it. I'm going to right click the screen, go down to new, and then I'm going to select folder and I'm going to call this no rest whoops, album. All right, now I'm going to go back to the no rest zip folder, double click it. Now inside the zipped folder, you see uh, several files and folders. You need to find the no rest folder and you can find it because you see the folder icon to the left of it. I want you to double click on that no rest folder. Now inside you see a bunch of music files and a .ds store file. Just ignore the .ds store file. It's essentially a junk file. What I want you to do is click on the first music file. That's 155 miles per hour. Then I want you to hold the shift button down and click on the last one. Doing so will select all of the songs. From here you can click on any song, hold the mouse key down, and drag the songs right over into your new no rest album folder you created. Let go of the mouse button and you will see about a little transfer box. The computer is transferring all those files from inside the zip folder where I can't use them to inside this new folder where I can. Now it's asking you, do you want to copy this file without encryption? Well, of course, we do not need encryption. Now I could click yes and then I'll get another pop up for the next song. To make this easier, I'm going to click this checkbox which says do this for all current items. So this is going to automatically say yes, you can copy without encryption for all of the songs. So I click yes. It's going to go ahead and copy the rest of those songs into the no rest album folder. It's doing that right now. And in any, any second now that'll be done. And once it's finished, I can <clears throat> pardon me, I can close out this window. I apologize, it's taking a little longer than I expected it to. So thank you for your patience. There we go. Okay, so at this point, I no longer need this main window here. It's the zip folder window. I will close it. And now I'm going to open up iTunes. And you can see I'm in the music section because the blue bar is going across music. I'm going to go down to the bottom left hand side where there's a plus sign and click it. That creates a playlist. A playlist is a collection of music files or media files that you choose. When you create a playlist, the default name is Untitled Playlist and the text is highlighted. So all you have to do is type in a new name. I'm going to type in No Rest and then to deselect the text, I'm going to click on the gray area below it. Good. So I have a new playlist called No Rest but no songs in there. Well, we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to click on the No Rest album, drag it over into iTunes. Now when I drag it over into the main window of iTunes, you see that blue plus sign? That means these files are in a format that iTunes will accept. Well, I should hope so. They're MP3s. I'm going to let go of the mouse button and ta-da! iTunes has processed all of these songs and added this album, No Rest, into iTunes. Now I can come up to the music uh, part of the library and all these songs are now in the music library and if I just want to see the no rest songs I click there um, that'll be very convenient when we have more songs added to the library so tune in for the next video and we'll tackle the music bundle which has three albums inside it and we'll burn a CD <coughs> pardon me and get this music onto an iPod